So we got Carmen, Texas. Tick, she works at a TikTok shop. Um, 21 Pisces, no kids. Yeah. What kind of man you looking for, girl? Really just someone that can be honest. Uh, People uh, aren't really honest these days. Somebody that can, you know, provide and just be true to themselves. What does provide mean for you? That means be able to handle their business because I can handle my own. But if I did need some assistance, you know, be able to help out when needed. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Um, a man that has a, a lot of children, a cheater, and a lot of children, I would say at least four to five kids. We can have three kids. Oh, no. Oh, probably probably not three. Two two kids is good. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you two kids is your max. Do you want children yourself? Uh, um probably in the future, yeah. Okay. Um, should he look a certain way? Um, I don't really prefer to date outside of my race. So black men only? Yes. Black men only, okay. Now, is there a money requirement? I know you said provider take care of his own self. Is there a dollar amount? Um, no, not preferably. Okay, 21 and older is the rule. Some people are telling me that you're 20. Um, I just moved to Texas, so I don't know why anybody would say that. I don't know anybody out here. Well, this is a worldwide show, not just people from Texas are, are tuning in. Um, no, I don't know why somebody would say that. But you are 21? Yeah. Yes, I am. Okay, all right. Um, does the guy have to make a dollar amount? Um, no, I don't know. He doesn't know. Okay. Let's do the kids or cam. Okay. I can't hear you. Sorry. Say again. Could you repeat that? My brother was talking to uh, me. The kids or cam is when you stand up and we see your full body. Oh, okay. I yeah. love you. Shut up. I love you back, <laughs> <Mira>. <laughs> <laughs> he is so funny. He said, I love you. Can you? Okay, do I need to back all the way? We just got to see your legs. Can y'all see your legs? Okay. All right. Okay. All right. See that good? This got to be one of Mucho's kids, y'all. We ain't going to let this one slide. From, from right here, I look like sexy wig. Ski! I look just like sexy red grandmother. We look like twins. Can't nobody say shit about me. I just took my glasses off. I know I look like her. I know I look like sexy red. She wish. She wish you can be me every time of her life because I'm looking good. All uh, right. Huh? Are we off base? This this post this poor child this poor sister, young sister young sister twenty one. And she up here blowed out like this. Here's my thing, and I say it: if this sister is fit and raised up right and everything, here's your goddess. But no, I told Crystal our melanated sisters have fallen far from grace. Look at this. This ain't supposed to be this. Red bonnet, purple hair, zesty brother. It's over. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's over. Real it's just... talk, like her head looked like a looked like a unicorn came by and dropped the squat. Like she, like a whole unicorn took a crap on top of her head, and that's what it was. Uh, Look at that. That's straight clown work. If this is to appear fit and feminine with a big old afro. Ain't much better, but no, we get this. So here we go. We're gonna let her go for another minute, man. Over it. 21, no kids. Blow it out. So Carmen, um, do you want the guy to be in Texas? Uh yes. Okay. When was your last relationship? Don't cut your head off, Carmen. Can you see yourself? Don't cut your head off. These comments going crazy. Um Carmen, you can't cut your head off, baby girl. Oh, I'm I gotta be able to see your full head. Okay. Um, okay. When was your last relationship? Um, like three, four months ago. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. 
When's the last time you was intimate with someone? About three, four months ago. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on when it comes to a relationship. You said what now? Three things you have to work on when it comes to a relationship. Um... I say I'm pretty solid right now. I don't think I need anything to work on at the moment. Listen, you got that, that, that hair. She got on a bonnet on top of a wig, on top of her real hair, on top of her scalp. I want to say it's hot up under there. Like she can start smoking uh, food. Uh -huh. Shout out to my guy, uh, Les Barbecue. Be down there smoking them uh, oxtails. She can like smoke oxtails up inside that damn bonnet. Like you take about a half a dozen oxtails and shove them in there. Come back about three hours. They'll be smoking them, uh, <laughs> them oxtails in that big old grill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm, this is this is un this is unacceptable. That's my new word. So we got unfortunate and unacceptable. She twenty one, absolutely unacceptable. Purple hair. She got purple baby hairs up under. Y'all see them peeking from up under that red bonnet. Whoever making and selling these bonnets and these hairs to these women, y'all got blood on y'all hands. Um, I swear for Lord, because there ain't nothing good about this. Nothing. You see what I'm... This hair disqualifies y'all from good men. I'm done with it. Hey, shout out to Frederick Howard. Texas in every way. Yeah. Shout out to my guy, Rolling Smoke. Man, you could I'm trying to tell you it's hot up under that damn bonnet, man. <laughs> uh, this is y'all see the environment. Purple hair, zesty relatives. These is don't stand a chance. What happened? You don't have three flaws? I mean, I have three personal flaws, but you said when it comes to a relationship, like my loyalty when it comes to somebody else, I don't think I would question that. I mean so you think in a relationship you're perfect? No. no okay, so this is the moment you can say the three things you have to improve on. Okay, I'll say I, I can improve on. Hold on, why is why is Anasia's friends on here trying to show out? Like they're doing too they don't even know who's me. Anasia, who's Anasia? <laughs> Girl oh. that used to try to bully me in school. Let me school. see, and they like, saying she's what? She's really trying to do too much. What she doesn't she even know me. Like, all her friends is on here trying to do too much. They don't, I don't know see me him. from a can of paint. Don't know my age. They said your brother's gay. All this other stuff. Like, they're really showing out and oh, you know, yeah? that's not cool. Yes. Oh, girl, baby, I ain't they're, worried. They're really showing I'm out. Bad. I'm sorry. That just irritated me because people is haters for no reason. Oh, <laughs> for no reason. All right, I don't I don't know who Anasia is. I'm Does she sorry. follow you on Instagram? Well, her, her people is on here trying to go. Trying How do you know they're her friends? Because when they said Charles, your lunch is ready, that was something I said to her when she was coming at me. So I knew that 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 you know put uh, two together. Hold on, let me go get cute because the bitch said what. <laughs> <laughs> That's your brother said he about to shut it down. Um, okay, but listen, we, let's, we, we really don't condone bullying. So, Anasia, get your friends. Let's let's but let's continue. We're almost done. Listen, if that's her biological brother and they share the same parents, is it safe? Is let's say we judge over here in case y'all mm -hmm. didn't know. Yes, we is do. it safe to say that their parents are failures? If this is your daughter and your son, or does this or or are we off base? And just because she got on the purple bonnet, red wig, and he zesty with the bonnet, and they, he acted wild, does that have nothing to do with their character and who they are? I don't know. It's two things. Yes. Is, that, is it two different things? Can you not judge a book by its cover, if you will? Gary, <laughs> yeah, you love opening up this messed up door, man. Listen, that's something we got to consider going into 2024, a reality I had to come with, come, come to. See, I can speak for me and Gavin. We come from a very brutish background. So that's why you get what you get on camera. We are mannish men, all right? We was raised around gangsters and thugs that are like y'all know stories. So this is what you get. But 
So when we see brothers like that talking about, you know, I'm this, I am that, let me get cute. I can't identify that as masculinity at all. Actually, no, pause. That ain't masculinity. That the saying you're gonna go get cute and, and and talking very feminine. Yeah, it's just boochy, boochy cat work. So, but can we say that he is in fact zesty? Because that means that he does, you know, enjoy the company of the same sex. Don't can we really say? <laughs> Can we really say? I know what the chat goes say. They're gonna say, "Hell yeah, we can say that." But just something to think about. <laughs> but yeah. as far as failures, yes, her parents are failures. It don't matter. This is this is my look at it, on it. It don't matter if your kids rebel, whatever. As a parent, no matter what, you gotta take some degree of responsibility. You can't just say, "Uh, no." It's it's healthy to you. I'm a failure. A little bit of failure. All right. So yeah, that that was my take on it all. You know, just watching her and her brother, it's a lot. Says so, so. This costume is worn to attract the guys. Oh. No, it's not. No, see, Stevie D, you wrong. Stop thinking about this all about men. They do this for themselves and they girl. Or or two things is true. We can be off base. This girl's twenty one years old, and either because I feel sorry for the younger guys coming up dating these. You know, anybody under the age of thirty especially younger guys who's still in school age, you know, they're going to have it the most because these women are going to be fully liberated by the end. And they, this is going to be commonplace for them to do whatever the hell they want. Here we go. I'm Larry Landis playing once and for all. <laughs> um, the three flaws. Do you have three flaws, honey? Um, my three flaws would be, I don't know why people are trying to say I'm not 21. I live all the way in Texas. No, I, I, I know how old I am. I don't got no family out here, but my brother, we're doing our own thing. So for whoever's in these comments trying to tell me how old I am, what I do, y'all don't know me from a can of paint. I don't know none of you at all. Anyways, my three flaws would be, um, I'd say I probably could be more consistent, uh, probably more communicative, and uh, um, I'd say... Hmm... No, girl, I'm upset. These picklehead built ass bitches. Not the oh. picklehead. What, what you <laughs> doing? Um, but your brother got a bonnet on too. Yeah, we both bonneted in right now. We were we in the house, you know. We in the, we just we was chilling. I didn't think he was going to accept me honestly because I'd have been on here a few times and you know I didn't, I really wasn't expecting to be accepted honestly. Tell her, tell her to add me because I'm gonna be that here in ten minutes. <laughs> Well, okay, let's go. We're almost at the end, Carmen. Why would a guy okay. be lucky to be with you? Um, um, I say because I do have respect um, for other people. I'm not really a judgmental person. Um, I carry myself very well when I when I go out in public. Like I said, I'm a respectful person. Um, now I will tell you this: they are definitely. Gonna talk about you having on a bonnet. Oh, uh, they gonna have to talk about this bonnet because this face, I, this face gives to me. So if, if they if they have a problem with the bonnet, you want me to take the bonnet off, Miss Kendra? Well, I'm just gonna tell you what the what the perception is gonna be. And oh, whenever well, somebody okay. comes on with a bonnet, and the only reason I brought it up because you said you present well, people will definitely talk about you coming on with a bonnet. So. I mean, listen, I always tell y'all in the beginning, whatever makes you most comfortable, but I will tell you, mm -hmm. that will be a conversation. Oh, uh, uh, well, that, that I meant when I go in public, I'm in home, I'm at, I'm at home right now, so. Well, I'm you not. really, you're in home, but you're worldwide. This That's is actually, more people probably would see you here than if you went out. This is hundreds of thousands of people. That's true. That That's true. Okay. okay. What was the age range you want to date, sweetheart? You're 21. Um, I say no older than like 28. 28. Okay. And okay. And I'll just give you this own personal advice on your on your journey of womanhood. Ignore the haters. I know it sounds I'm not even the best at it at times. Sometimes I do gotta check a person, but a lot of times I ignore stuff. And that girl you were talking about, we wouldn't even know she existed. And we gotta stop. We're gonna stop for one minute because that I just disagree with that whole little sentiment. Do we got to ignore the haters? Yeah, when they are truly haters. In mm -hmm. her case, it's not hate. People telling you the damn truth. 
you got on the red bonnet and a purple wig. Talking about people hating on you. That's what's wrong with you ninjas. Can't nobody tell y'all the truth and try to help y'all because they hating. There you go. And yeah, she's like, oh, I'm not a judgy person. I don't judge. And that is one of y'all biggest problems. Y'all, y'all out here misreading the King James pamphlet. I don't know what y'all be reading, but it don't simply say don't judge. That's why y'all say y'all don't judge, because y'all claim that the a pamphlet say don't judge. No. It says judge not or be judged first. That's why I don't mind being judgy myself personally, because I've judged myself first before I came up here on Beyonce's internet handing out these lashings. Yes. And they're not even and calling it, it judging. They're calling it straight up hate. They're calling it straight up hate. They're not even, they pass judgment. You just hate. Ain't, see, it ain't hate. It ain't hate. It ain't no hate. You know what would be hate? Compare telling that you're beautiful and you're gorgeous and that you got it all together. You fine. You ain't you perfect the way you are. Do you, boo? That would be hate because it ain't going to get you your desired outcome. It's destructive. Y'all, y'all don't get it. Y'all not used to tough love. Man. if you didn't bring it to light right like this is your moment let it be your moment they let let them talk whatever they're gonna say right. don't let it get under your skin it only becomes it only becomes big if you acknowledge it if you would have never said it i would have never knew her name would have never knew the followers so as you move forward in life you know get used to people not always liking you and the best thing you could do is just go off and become Amazing, an amazing woman, and ignoring them on the path. And that's why I love her. <laughs> Just ignoring them on the path. And don't, don't give them no light. You the one on the show. Yeah. You the one with the moment. Don't let them share their moment that's with you. True, but that's why I'm not gonna let no bonnet stop me from, you know, from doing what I got to do. I'm, I know I was looking a little rough, so I just tried to, you know. It was quick. You answered real quick, but it's okay. Next time I may, when when something like this happen, I know to prepare myself before I hit join. But <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Well, let's do it. We got Carmen, Texas, twenty one Pisces. I'm over. Let's play devil's advocate, Carmen. Are you saying that minus the red bonnet with only the damn I don't know what color purple that is. <laughs> Only with that purple hair, you look great with the purple hair. It's the bonnet throwing this off. Are we? Is that what she's saying? That the purple hair she will be will be slamming right now, but it's the bonnet. Oh boy! <laughs> I tell you what, I know exactly what color that is. Cause I got T-Mobile. <laughs> so there you go. And then she gonna say she got a pretty face. She said I got a cute face, so don't worry about the bonnet. This face. Let's is Let's touch on that. For one, her hair is magenta. <laughs> All right. Got that. Magenta hair, red bonnet. To the face. See, some things we aren't allowed to say. We're not. So anytime, and y'all have noticed it, anytime a woman has come up here and they self-proclaim that they are gorgeous, beautiful, it's that's an ugly thing. Don't do that. Let, let, let the people People tell you that you look good. You self-grandizing yourself is a turnoff to any any person. No need to do it. Stop that. Overcompensating. Take the dang on bonnet off and you ain't got to do all this. <laughs> Man. So at this point, you and your brother and y'all damn bonnets to the sub. Yes. Hmm. The passengers of the doomed Titanic sub spent their last moments in total darkness looking for bioluminescent creatures out of the small window and listening to their favourite music. The new details of the five passengers' final moments have been revealed by the wife and mum of the father-son duo. Wait in the water, wait in the water, time and wait in the water. Something's gonna trouble the water. You better wait in the water. <laughs> she said, I was looking a little rough. So, it, and her hair ain't done up under there. It's untamed. Her lace front uh, is coming unattached, need reactivated. That's nasty work. See what I'm saying? She's 21 blowed out. She, she is trending towards traction alopecia.